Hello and welcome to my Twin Flame journey. I am Shine and this is going to be the October reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And be sure to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to get additional messages. Also keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I may be describing you or the person you're dealing with, so switch the energies around if need be. I also do not discriminate in my readings. I read for the ones who have done the misdeeds and who are on the receiving end of it because both are in need of guidance so again apply the energy as it may fit and if it doesn't fit we'll try again another time um, oh if you'd like to do an energy exchange donations are greatly appreciated the information on how to do that is below if you'd like a personal reading all the information for that is also below and please hit the like and share and subscribe and leave comments, etc. Let me know how it resonates, if it resonates. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh, and hit the notifications button to be notified of the new videos that get uploaded. And what else? Oh, I'm going introducing a deck that I created called the Reality Check deck. We will get whatever reality checks we may need at the end. Um, what we have here is the overview, your advice in regards to it, um, the situation, why it's happening, what you're thinking and feeling, hopes and fears, and the Spirit's advice. Um, this is the higher message involved. This is more advice. This is what chakras we're needing to work on. Um, and in regards to love, this is advice. And then again, we'll clarify these. Um, and I think that's that's the whole spiel explanation. You see, every reading that I've done so far has been about you know people releasing endings. There's, there's a lot of endings going on, and and also new beginnings, obviously, because that comes with endings. Um, but for every reading that I've done so far, it's, Spirit has been telling everybody to, again, release ourselves from situations that we know aren't good for us or releasing, you know, past situations so that we can be open to new things. So let's see see what yours is. Let's say, because everyone I've done has been about that. This one says exchanging gifts here. Let's see what this is about. Number 27, essential meanings, the law of giving and receiving, currency, trade-offs, weighing costs and determining value. So maybe it's kind of like a Six of Pentacles energy. The Oracle's message, you're entering into a productive and enriching time when all manner of opportunities are being offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honor them, you must put in the time, exchange your experience and skills, and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring to your life. So again, equal give and take in relationships, assessing situations, again, the energy that we bring and what we allow, um, and, and being mindful, again, about what we're giving to. Relationship message, love is an exchange of life force energy between two beings. It grows exponentially when it's reciprocated. You must give and receive in order for love to flourish and abundance to flow between you. <coughs> Excuse me. Spirit wants you to start accepting all the blessings waiting for you as well as offer the same gift in return. Open your heart and allow it to be filled. Let love in and let it flow out of you too. Love is truly yours today. So obviously you want to make sure that you're giving into situations that are getting some return in one's investment, right? Um, and we're also, you know, 
knowing the difference between you know what's what's real and what's not what's real love and, and what's you know fear-based love as well um, prosperity message all your hard work and efforts your commitment to learning creating and spending your time wisely pay off in ways you may not ha may not have been anticipating the gifts of yourself, your time, your ideas, and the energy of your intentions are being reciprocated by the universe, which is sending you signs and signals, aligning synchronistic meetings and opportunities to bring you success and more. Everything is an exchange. Keep doing what you're doing. Goodwill comes back tenfold. So even if we're giving and giving into situations that turn out to be karmic, um, you know, whatever you put into that, as long as you learn the lesson and, and apply it moving forward, you will get back what you gave, but in a healthy manner, you know, with the next situation. Protection message, be careful what you pray for because you just might get it and realize then that you don't want to face the hefty price tag that comes with it. You may find yourself in a situation you've always desired, but no, you will have to walk away from or even fail at it because you can't or won't pay the dues it asks of you. If you want to be a famous musician, you have to practice your craft every day. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to be responsible for managing the money and paying the taxes. Even a windfall bears a cost. It's okay, though, because spirit will help you achieve balance over time. Another message here reminds you that being only the giver and not the receiver plays out in many relationships in your life where you find yourself in victim mode in a codependent dynamic or holding on to false sense of control. So it says even, you know, holding on to situations we know we need to let go of, you know, staying in it because we fear being alone. Again, whatever, whatever is the wounding, um, allowing ourselves to be in, you know, lackluster situations. Others may push you to continue to prove yourself. Again, making you jump through hoops to prove you're worthy of their love. Fuck that shit. The time has come to distance yourself from this kind of imbalance. Being aware of the need for both give and take is the first step to your true destiny. It's all good and getting better. Not only can you handle this, but you can flourish as a result of it. A result of it. So again, it's about I guess learning learning lessons here about you know giving more than more than you get. People that come and just want to take advantage of, of people's giving nature. And again, it's about learning those boundaries. Self-love, self-respect. Don't, don't be a doormat. Don't jump through hoops trying to prove anything to anybody. Oh, yeah. And then I got, what is the advice in regards to this? <laughs> and you got... Ask your angels. Your angels are always with you. However, you must ask for their assistance in order for them to provide you with the help you're seeking because heaven respects your free will choices. State your questions to your angels clearly. You can do so either out loud or silently in your own mind. Your angels will instantly help you according to God's will. So it's again, God's will, not necessarily what you want <laughs> or the person that you want or the way that you want, again, you're given what you're, you need in order for your soul's evolution and growth, what's in your betterment. Now, if you're asking for, you know, a particular thing, you say, if I want true love, if I want to be treated right, again, it might not be with the person you invested all your time and energy and effort into. You know, that might just be a lesson that we needed to learn from to prepare us for what it is that we're asking for. And again, it's being open to however they, that might manifest, right? Your angels may also have special messages for you about the situation you're asking about. Sit quietly in a peaceful place, indoors or out in nature, and ask for advice and guidance. Notice what messages come to you. It's possible the answers will come to you through your feelings, hearing, or sight. Or perhaps you will just know the answer. You could also ask the angels for signs during the day to guide you onto the right path. And I says, well, why ask your angels? And they said, get more information. And I'm thinking, well, isn't that what we're trying to get from you? <laughs> They're asking us to ask more questions. Well, isn't that what we're asking you for? Get more information. Let's we'll see what this says. The situation you're asking about requires more information in order for you to make a wise decision. 
approach those knowledgeable about the topic to solicit their advice. If there are friends or family members in your midst who have insight into the matter, ask for their observations. You may need to do some analytical research in order to get the data that you need. This could include reading books, taking classes or seminars, or gathering information from the internet. Like I said, especially if you're dealing with narcissists, <laughs> I always throw that out because I'm telling you there's a lots, of, lots of wolves in sheep, sheep's clothing. And a lot of people are coming to realize, you know, that they weren't with people that they thought they were with. You know, lots of truths are coming out. Lots of, you know, tower moments are happening here for, for, for many people. Again, endings and beginnings. We got the world here, which talks about cycles. You know, this is, I told you, every reading I've done has been about the same thing. It's quite interesting. Now, as I spoke about the world here and the tower, you have two major arcanas. And again, major arcanas are the deeper, more meaningful and spiritual in nature. They're signposts to be taken more seriously and looked at more closely. They're aspects of the self as well as our response to significant events in our life, how to get through them, how we should see them, ways to learn and grow from them, you know, with the karma that we're shedding through these lessons, a more profound, deep, meaningful stage on a journey. Think of them as chapters in a book. It's also representing a path to spiritual self-awareness. Again, if once we're self-aware, again, getting those aha moments about our own patterns or attracting the same situations, same types of people. Again, what is it within us that needs to change? How are we showing up or how are we allowing others to show up? If we're in relationships that are unbalanced, where we're giving and giving and giving, and we're with people that come and just, you know, not not feed the soil but take the fruit you know a lot of people are coming into those awarenesses about their relationships and about people they were dealing with again it's a search for greater meaning and understanding again through the lessons it's the journey of the fool each step bringing you closer to enlightenment you know so it's all about those lovely lessons oh and then we got the devil in reverse underneath it so again, this, this speaks about being, you know, this is karma We're all over the place here, you know. But this is feeling tied and bound to situations, addicted to situations, codependent. Again, working harder on, on fixing somebody else more than they do on fixing themselves. Again, and some people love to see you spinning your wheels into exhaustion while they just sit back and make all kinds of excuses and play the victim and all the while you're, you're again wearing yourself out and then some of these people again are narcissists they leave you high and dry and it was all for nothing but in the sense you know of learning a lesson it was worth something but that's why they said watch where you're 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 putting your efforts into um Devil in reverse, so speaks about trying trying to release ourselves from that, you know. And then we have the world here, which is about a completion of a journey or a new beginning, you know, being future looking again, wrapping up cycles, karmic cycles. Um, we're dealing with, and this is also represents Saturn, right? So we got some planetary stuff going on in with, in regards to Saturn right now and and karma. That's why a lot of stuff is coming to the surface. Some people are jumping into more karmic situations because they haven't learned. I guess it especially the narcissists. They're always moving on to the next. They're never interested in fixing themselves. Um, so I always say, know what you're dealing with. And if you don't know what you're dealing with, yeah, get more information. Look up some stuff. See if you can go down like a laundry list and check off instance after instance that sounds exactly like your situation or what you went through. Again, because it's a behavior pattern. These people all read from the same handbook. You can watch all of these different people in forums talk about their experiences and it sounds like the exact same thing that you went through because it is because of what you were dealing with. That's for some of you. Obviously, not everyone's dealing with a narcissist. But there are a lot of selfish, self-serving people out there that use people, again, as means to an end, who take advantage of kind-giving people, again. And a lot of those kind-giving people need to learn about having self-esteem, boundaries, 
not staying in, in situations because we fear speaking up, you know, fear, fear speaking about uh, imbalances or standing your ground or whatever it is. Um, again, always lessons involved in this stuff, right? Completing a major cycle, again, enduring hardships and challenges, coming to a full circle. Knowing again that your efforts will pay off. Again, it might not be with the person you were dealing with, but if you've learned through this experience, know that the universe wants to bless you, you know, so that all your efforts weren't, haven't gone to waste, you know. Um, attainment of a long held dream. Again, new beginnings after a cycle. Evolution. You know, time, experience. The situation we have here is the tower, but in the reverse. You know, this is trying to avoid a disaster or fearing change, fearing endings, um, even fearing letting go of situations that we know aren't good for us because, again, it's the fear of, of losing a, a companion. But if that companion treats you like shit, you're not really losing anything. You're gaining something by freeing yourself from that, right? This is also about delaying the necessary destruction. Again, or if we're afraid of ending something, we know we should end. But we're not doing it. Um, it's a need to go through a difficulty to learn a lesson that's important. You know, don't resist it, even if it's shocking and hard to deal with. And it's an important part of, again, your life's journey. So there is something here that's needing to be wrapped up or we're needing to acknowledge about a situation that we've been in. Um, afraid of change, even if we want it. Resisting it due to fear of pain or discomfort. It's a need to think big and take risks, especially if it involves, you know, embarking on new paths that are going to be more fulfilling. Um... You know, but this is also us kind of trying to prepare for that, to lessen the blow a little bit. It's something that you know is on the horizon. You know, it's also the coming undone of the ego. Again, all the stuff that we don't want to look at, um, truths that we don't want to look at, facts we don't want to face. Because, yeah. Sometimes people prefer a sugar-coated lie over the, over the, you know, sour truth, but that only does us good for so long, right? And why it's happening, well, because we're, we're feeling regretful about choices that we made, feeling sad, focusing on, again, what we're, what we're lost or what we would lose, you know, if we ended something. But again, what are you losing? Checks and balances make a list of all the pros and cons of your situation. And if one side outweighs the other, then that'll tell you all you gotta all you gotta know, right? It might be hard and painful, but facts are facts. Um, again, difficulty, loss, despair, grief, a need to focus on the two cups still standing. So again, this is about, you know, there is opportunity. You know, all is not lost. And, you know, with just this person or this situation, you know, life obviously goes on. Self-blame, trouble letting go of the past and learning from mistakes, pessimism, feeling disillusioned with life, wallowing in self-pity. Again, regrets of what's lost, disappointment, lack of fulfillment. Non-attainment, again, feeling like we didn't get what we were looking for in a situation. But again, uh, it's also a need for forgiveness and relief, um, reflecting on the lessons and, and, and moving on. You know, try to take the glass half full perspective. And what we're thinking and feeling is the Queen of Swords in the reverse. So this is somebody who could be overly emotional you know, resentful, um, this could be you, you know, maybe you're cutting somebody out or knowing that you have to cut somebody out or somebody, you know, cut you out um, and you're not happy about it. You know, someone who's, uh, 
devoid of emotion or again is is but this is not the case because obviously or well, somebody we're dealing with could be <laughs> this way um you're thinking that somebody is just not caring about your your feelings this is perhaps the case someone who can be mean again cutting away clearing someone who lacks compassion for someone else Again, this could be someone that you're dealing with, male, female, doesn't matter. No, unsure, cl cloudy, cloudy, uh, unclear vision of, of what to do, even though you kind of know what to do. But maybe you're needing some extra guidance or help or, or reason. Oh boy. This says everybody's in the same boat here. My goodness. <laughs> Hopes and fears, the five of pentacles in the reverse. So you're hoping to feel you know, come out of feeling left out in the cold. This is feeling left out of cold. This is, you know, poverty, spiritual poverty, financial poverty, just poverty in a relationship. Again, a lack of balance, a lack of reciprocity, a lack of love, um, a lack of care and concern. Just you know, and hoping to come out of feeling this way. End of difficult times. For some, it's it's income problems, like I said. Feeling isolated and alone. Feeling something is off or out of place. You know, neglecting our, our own well-being. Oh, my Lord. And this depressing uh, piano music I've got going on. It's supposed to be relaxing with the beach. It's like with this subject matter, these readings, and this piano, it's just like... <laughs> makes me want to go, you know, take a long walk up a short pier. The star is the advice. You know, this is all about healing. Allowing healing to happen and allowing you to still have hope again in regards to the future. And so it may not be with this person, but and that's about strength and the quality to, to accept your own faults and love yourself in spite of them. Again, we live and learn. It's about having renewed hope and faith. Again, courage, deeper understanding, again, of ourself and other people. Again, how we show up and what we allow, or how we allow others to show up. Meaning, purpose, and perspective. It's the call of destiny that compels you to go on. Take the two cups and, 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 and move forward to something that's more fulfilling. Renewal of self-esteem, trusting in yourself, having faith and belief in yourself, and not letting fear keep you in unhappy situations. I'm just looking to see if, if this could be someone else, you know, having regrets and trying to, you know, keep an ending from happening. This is someone other than you, and maybe this is you. But let's let's clarify to see what else we can get here. Um, why the tower in reverse in regards to the situation? What, what was leading up to the tower in reverse? What's the reason for the tower in the reverse? Faith. So perhaps this is a lack of faith, or we're trying to still hold out faith.
brown haired man, talent, happiness. So, you know, either we're trying to, either somebody again is coming in with regrets, trying to figure out a way to avoid an ending of something, trying to figure out a way how to gain back some happiness in a situation, or this is us holding on to trying to still have faith that, you know, things can turn around again. Looking to come from feeling left out in the cold. Hoping that somebody is going to become the person that we, we, we thought they were or wish they were again. This is the dream for many, but not much the reality. Um, what is the Five of Cups here in regards to why it's happening? Why the Five of Cups in regards to why it's happening? Why the Five of Cups? Clarity, growth, battle, stop, look, and listen, patience, and justice. Um, either, you know, we're obviously coming into a realization about something. In regards to whether or not, you know, a situation can change or not. Or again, we're still in confusion mode. We're trying to, again, figure out stuff. Justice could be karmic justice or it could be just wanting justice for ourselves, wanting things to work out in our favor. Justice can also mean justice system. Like we've got a lot of people, again, ending things could be ending marriages Patience is about, again, wondering if we should invest more time into something or maybe we feel like we waited too long, especially if, if this is someone in realizing that they fucked up kind of thing. Um, Hold on one second here. Stop, look, listen, we got the precious gift. So this is obviously something that we value. Bambino, new beginning. On stop, look, listen. Maybe this could also be realizing our own value, wanting a new beginning. Clarity, Giovine Fanchula in the reverse. So this kind of reminds me of the nine of the pe nine of pentacles, and you actually had nine of pentacles underneath the double, um, in the upright. So this is kind of like an attraction to a young lady or somebody who, again, who's independent. Um, then in the reverse, maybe it's not wanting to be alone, or realizing maybe that you know the Donna de Servizio is is the servant or the helper and then we have Morte in the reverse so again the servant or the helper I always kind of look at this as kind of a codependency kind of card or someone using us again for as a means to an end um,
And of course, Marte speaks about endings, but this is also in the reverse, like the tower is in the reverse. And this is also being completely uh, emotionally detached from a situation. So again, I don't know if some people are realizing, you know, again, we weren't with people who we who 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 we thought we were with. Maybe then we need to help ourselves start over. Let me see this Queen of Swords. Why the Queen of Swords in the reverse in regards to how we're thinking and feeling? Oops. You got good news, bad news. <laughs> good news, bad news. Well, good news. Good news, communication, victory, mistake, bad news. So bad news is just about either we're getting some bad news, obviously. Victory, maybe there isn't any victory in a situation. You know, or we're not going to get things how we want. Um, feeling like we made a mistake or fearing that we've made a mistake. Or again, hoping, hoping that something will change, hoping we get some kind of communication from someone, or maybe that they realize their mistakes and that things will work out, especially if this is someone who's cutting us out or we're thinking about cutting out. Five of Pentacles in reverse, we got truth, wisdom, deception. See, I knew without fail. Truth, wisdom, deception, inspiration, friend, the lady, barrier. So this is either us, the lady could be you, um, needing to use your intuition, or you know, male, female, doesn't matter, just needing to use your intuition and, and realize again the obstacles involved in the situation. Gaining wisdom through the experience, again, knowing the truth or trying to figure out the truth in regards to, again, it, it says friend here, but it could be a romantic relationship or it could be a friendship as well. Not a star in regards to advice. Journey, solitude, surprise, anxiety, brown haired woman.
So obviously if this is about hopes and dreams and healing, you know, perhaps again, solitude kind of reminds me of the hermit, the information that all you need to know is within you um, in regards to the next steps to take along in this situation or on your journey. You know, to release your fears and allow healing to happen and to keep keep hope and faith. Again, take these two cups and, and know that, you know, things can get better. And again, it may not be with this person. Surprise could again be communication or it's um, documents of some kind. Again, I don't know if we people divorce, justice, and, and surprise sometimes to me is like divorce papers. You know, again, if, uh, so, solitude too can also be, you know, anxiety and sol solitude, fears of being alone. You know, someone having fears of being alone after a situation. Or maybe we're not needing to fe fear the unknown. Let me see. Usually a reality check will bring it all home at the end. The higher message involved here is caring. Heaven cares for me and I keep my heart open to caring about myself, others in the world. So obviously we need to practice self-care first and foremost. Doing what's in our highest and best. Choosing things, people, situations, paths, whatever it is that are going to bring us healing in balanced relationships and happiness and joy, right? By enjoying this moment, I'm giving thanks to God for my life. So it's, it's again, maybe we need to be happy that certain people are out of our lives. <laughs> Patience, you know, I trust in divine timing. The star also for me represents divine timing. And it usually comes obviously with healing. Because you have to be ready for whatever is, is coming next. We got patience here. Do we have patience down here? No. Oh yeah, you did. Patience here. So again, if we're, we're you know afraid of uh, ending situations or not rekindling certain situations, again, maybe we're just needing to live and learn and have patience that you know in time something better might come along. Be in the present moment. I'm fully present in the here and now. And then we got family. I pray for my family and give this situation over to God for answer, support, and healing. And again, and you know, I don't know if people are trying to, to, to salvage situations that they're currently in still or waiting for someone to come back. Um, miracle, I trust in God to know the perfect solution to this situation, forgiveness, I'm willing to release all resentment so that I may enjoy my life, so again, if we're holding on to anything, we're needing to release that. And again, if it just something's just happening like this week, obviously that's like not realistic, right? It's it's gonna take time. <laughs> we're not expecting, you know, Moses parting the seas kind of miracles here. Um, but obviously, ultimately, this is what we're needing to work on: releasing, forgiving ourselves, even.
and grace. I am filled with the same beauty, poison, divine perfection as all of God's creation. Like whatever it is that you're going through here, to kind of handle it with all with grace as best as you can. Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangels Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. Manifestation power. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. And, and like I said, sometimes what we want isn't in our highest and best. So if we keep, you know, trying to focus on a particular person or a particular situation, hoping that will work out, it may or may not. But what we're needing to do is focus on whatever healing we need to do, being honest with ourselves about, again, what we want and what we deserve, and make moves towards having that and trying to speak into that so that we can manifest it so that we can be open to receiving whatever gifts that the universe wants to bring for us, right? And again, again it might not come in, in the form of the same person that you're with. Sacral chakra, you are highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods, and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations, and relationships. This is also sacral chakra, an impasse, coming to a fork in the road, or needing to pick a new path here. Because especially if we're in situations that leave us feeling left out in the cold or in our, our regrets and anything that involves any kind of deceptions, emotional sensitivity again. So somebody's feeling heavy in sadness here. Honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. Shield yourself. Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. And then throat chakra, the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. That's why we had truth down here. You know, again, if we're needing to say something, we've got communication here too. So I don't know if somebody's needing to just speak up on how they're feeling. You know, again, some people might be knowing that they need to end something because they're not happy in it. Or again, something is ending, but either way, you're needing to speak, speak, speak how you feel about it. You have two solar plexus chakras. This again talks about, you know, um, our thinking and our action, right? Yellow, solar plexus, intellectual, reveals planning process, problem solving, what's on your mind. It's also, again, wisdom and instinct, innovation, again, inspiration, what it is that we got to do to get ourselves out of this feeling, right? And um, sacral, again, is our emotional, needing to master the, the skill of steering our own emotions, again, taking the two cups and, and keeping faith that, you know, things will get better. Optimism. And then we have here the crown chakra, which talks about, again, our higher knowing. What is our intuition telling us about something? Enlightenment, wisdom. higher-minded way of thinking. So let's look at here what you got. You got dissipating. It's kind of like watching your life pass you by. Facade, which is all about, you know, believing in, in false truths, even stories that we tell ourselves. Sometimes this stems, again, from childhood wounding, low self-esteem. So, again, allowing ourselves to play the, play the doormat or to take, get taken advantage of again and, and needing to again step into our own power and, and realize the repeated patterns that cause these tower relationships, moments, epiphanies, realizing again what's got to go, impasse, and instinct. As I said, it's been telling everybody to just... 
Do you know? <laughs> leave, leave unfulfilling things behind for, for, for better things. Um, instincts. Instinct guides, awakening, key ideas, solitary journey, spirit lies on the road ahead, being led by spirit and following your instinct. And you have here too, solitude journey. No, don't fear being alone because sometimes we need to be alone for a while to figure out again the stuff that we need to realize so that when we take these two cups into the future, we don't repeat or attract the same kind of situations, right? Sometimes we're needing to allow that solitary time. Um, how can I master letting go and move on? Do I trust my inner guidance? That's the personal inquiry. Inspiration message is your instinct is finely tuned, so why doubt it? Your journey is guided. And then we have facade. This isn't who I am. Inspiration message, if you are unhappy in your relationship, you may be relating to others through a false sense of duty. Give up being something that you're not. Especially, again, if you are the codependent. Working harder on, on, on somebody else's issues than they are on themselves. It says a lot of narcissists love a codependent because a narcissist is also codependent. The codependent needs to feel the need to save, to heal, to love somebody into becoming better. And the other person loves all the attention that that person is, is giving them and, and trying to make them do that. Like I said, depending on what you're dealing with, they, they never will. They just enjoy watching you spinning your own wheels, exhausting yourself until they move on to the next. So, again, realizing your truth and what makes you happy and moving away from anything that doesn't make you happy. Personal inquiry. It's about reclaiming your life. What have I done to heal my childhood pain? Again, because a lot of this stems from childhood. What did love look like to me? You know, we imitate what we see, stopping these re repetitive cycles of the world. Key ideas, disassociating from yourself, reclaiming your life, healing childhood pain. Keywords are recovery, integration, and play. So this is all about integrating, again, the light and dark aspects of the self, integrating knowledge and wisdom learned through experience and lessons here, you know, reclaiming your life, healing Still trying to keep hope and faith. Take your two cups and, you know what I'm saying? Dissipating. Inspiration message. Oh, I am more than I think I am. So again, it's about believing in yourself, self-esteem. Inspiration message. Beware of being imprisoned by the story that you tell. Do you intend to do what you say? First, our inquiry, a lack of planning does not indicate misfortune. Am I doing what I say? So again, walk in your talk, right? Key idea is taking action, going in circles. We don't want to do that. Repeated cycles, going in circles, round and round, doesn't go anywhere. Making excuses, procrastinating. Again, avoiding doing something we know we got to do. Keep hoping and waiting and wishing for somebody else to make the change, perhaps. Um... Keywords are companionship, connection, and assistance. So again, get more information, get assistance, get a support system, get ask advice from the people that you trust to kind of help you with whatever it is that you're going through here. An impasse. The path is obstructed. I need to reroute. This is a reroute, not an ending. The path is blocked and you are in an impasse, but the goal is still there. The goal, again, to find a happy relationship, if that's what you're looking for, right? Um, do not wait for your present situation to change. Stay focused and find another path. Just what I said, sitting here waiting. Key idea is change of direction, regroup and refocus. Protection from harm. It's just that sometimes rejection is God's protection. Or sometimes these tower moments come in when we when we don't want to do what we should have done a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So that so the universe says, you know, well, we're not going to wait for you to do it because you obviously can't. So now we're going to thrust a whole bunch of shit on you, a whole bunch of truth, and you you got to wake up, you got to see. 
we hope. And we got to put an end to this because you're not putting an end to it. So that could be a reason why the tower is here as well. But they're trying to give you a heads up that you have an opportunity to lessen the blow if you can see, see shit for how it is and kind of make peace with it and allow, again, healing to happen and, and get yourself out of situations that make you feel like shit and that aren't equal, give and take. Wisdom, opportunity, and surrender. Surrendering to what is. You know, embracing new opportunities and taking the wisdom gained through this experience. Personal inquiry, how adaptable am I? What does this card reveal about my feelings and my reaction to, to delays or to difficult choices or whatever it is? All right. Let us see what the reality check is for Aries in the month of October. What's the reality check for Aries? Oh, wait, hold on. Let us do your thing. We have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic part in your seek. You deserve love. You are lovable. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. You have three things talking about divine timing here. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And I says this card kind of reminds me of the Six of Swords. Moving away from painful situations towards something that's going to be more fulfilling. Maybe you are dealing with somebody who is deceptive in some way. Or you're discovering that. You know. And maybe you thought this could be the one. But you would found out that they weren't. And they're trying to tell you you deserve love. You know, you deserve passion. And that's worth waiting for and not staying in situations that, again, aren't making you happy. Maybe it's time to, to, to move on. Um, let us see. What is the reality check for Aries in regards to this situation? What's the reality check for Aries in regards to this situation? Let's take some from here. What was the reality check for Aries? What's the reality check for Aries in regards to this situation? What's the, real um, what's the reality check again for Aries? Yep. Reality check for Aries. Oh, my God, there's too many here. Oh. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we're a shady mofo. Tisk tisk. So, again, somebody was lying. And perhaps, again, we, we lie to ourselves even, right? If they aren't putting any effort into the relationship, why are you? Don't chase, replace, and stop spinning your wheels, right? As Kenny Rogers saying, know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Know when to walk away and know when to run away from this person and situation. We have, there may be some underlying psychological issues to be aware of. So again, as I mentioned, some people are dealing with narcissists or people are currently, you know, maybe you got some chronic depression going on here, dealing with somebody that's affecting your health. This could be in the forms of chronic depression, anxiety, etc., or some kind of childhood wounding that now has an effect on the adult in different areas of their life. Again, if we're not realizing what really needs to be healed at the root issue, we're going to keep attracting the same situations, the same types of people. We're going to keep showing up the same way and having the same result. And it says, and for a lot of feminines, it was about self-love, self-respect, and boundaries. And stop chasing after people that treat you like shit, 
that aren't putting any effort, that have you spinning your wheels, that perhaps take advantage of you, of you emotionally, mentally, financially, whatever it is, um, and, and, and leaving you in, in a wake of destruction here. Um, a personality disorder may also be playing a role. If you get uh-oh planet narco as well in a reading, then this may be another hint as to what might be involved, again, if you're dealing with a narcissist. Seek out a professional therapist re is recommended for further clarification and assistance if you are dealing with this type of person or if it is you who is display, displaying these behaviors. Perhaps the way that get more information is maybe we're needing to go talk to a counselor. Maybe we're needing to work through our stuff and get advice on, on, on the kind of relationship that we were in, you know. That's how I came into the re realization that I was dealing with a narcissist. Because I ended up in therapy because I, I developed complex post-traumatic stress, which could leave you, like I said, these people, if we're dealing with people like that, emotional manipulators, like I said, it's like being in a hit and run. They don't give a shit. They're just there to use, abuse, and abandon and, and leave you all kinds of fucked up in the end. So again, if we're all in depressive mode, if we're still clinging and keeping hope in regards to these kind of people, maybe we're needing to you know, seek out, seek out some help, seek out some counseling, seek out somebody that can help us heal, you know, and, and move forward. Not this asshole again. Either they keep coming around or in some way you keep bringing this past person into the present. If they keep coming around, there may be more lessons to go through with them or the universe is testing you to see if you have learned whatever lesson has to be learned was to be learned before. Or you could be clinging to something that needs to be let go of in order to clear your energy, to be open to something new, and it's best that you heal and release this person or experience for your own good. You get what you allow, so know your worth. You show people how to treat you by how you treat yourself and what you allow. Self-love, self-respect, self-esteem, self-worth, they all begin with self. How is your relationship with yourself? Loving yourself and having healthy boundaries is a must in regards to giving others a guide to follow as well as protecting ourselves from assholes. Inhale the good shit and exhale the bullshit. Life is full of ups and downs, good times and bad, lessons and blessings. The path of least resistance is best. Learn to go with the ebb and flow, release and allow. There are reasons and seasons. Find peace in the storm and breathe. They're in love with you. Give it a chance. But if negative cards come with this one, someone might be lying and just trying to convince you that this is true. Use discernment. Now, obviously, we have deception here. We have possible underlying psychological issues. We got, you know, let that shit go. <laughs> Holding on to feelings, thoughts, people, situations, mindsets, behavior patterns, etc., that only result in unhappiness, missed opportunities, stagnation, procrastination, and shadow aspects of the ego. Let it go. So again, this could be the one. Maybe we're holding on to the idea that this person could be the one, that they love me or I love them. And maybe it's, it's really, it's not what you think it is. And we're needing to let it go. See, see, see the truth. A wise man knows that he knows nothing at all. But the universe knows. So listen to what the hell we're saying. Mountains out of molehills, lighten up. It's not as bad as you think. Sometimes we blow things out of proportion. We make things harder on ourselves than they need to be, or we try to move immovable mountains that instead should be walked over like stepping stones on the path to our enlightenment. Figure out what is the mountain or the molehill in your life and lighten your load. So it says, move on to healing. Ignorance is bliss, but knowledge is power. Ignorance may be bliss, but only for so long. Eventually, you need to wise up for your own growth and healing. Once you know better, do better. It's all about the lessons. Become enlightened. Did they lie to you about who they were? Or did you lie to yourself about who they were? Rose-colored glasses may look good, but they'll never do you any good. Hungry hearts will settle for crumbs. We all eat lies when our hearts are hungry. This is why it's so important to heal before you deal. When you are lonely, 
have low self-esteem, abandonment issues, fears of being alone, etc. It can set you up to be taken advantage of, especially by emotional manipulators or narcissists. You cannot heal, save, or change anyone but yourself. It says that codependency, taking on somebody else's problems, and a lot of times they're looking for you to, to take it on. They dump all their shit on you because that's what narcissists do. And they have you spinning your wheels, putting up with all their shit, and they have no intention of changing, no intention of putting any work in themselves. They just like to play the victim and like to get doted on and like to pull the wool over people's eyes. And, you know, again, they play on your sympathetic giving nature or your desire to heal them and take them in. Again, but beware of wolves in sheep's clothing because I'm telling you, don't take on another's karma or their need for self-healing. These things must come from within. Watch out for codependency. Okay. This could be true love. Don't mess it up. Make sure unresolved issues don't cause you to self-sabotage. So again, if you're going to look for true love, if you want true love, you know, make sure that we don't have unresolved issues that cause us to, again, engage in relationships or behavior patterns that cause the same thing to happen over and over again. We're just with different people, you know. Make, make sure they don't keep you in, in situations, again, that are going to lead to your destruction and not your betterment. You know, true love for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And on that note, my lovelies, I send you love and light. I wish you healing and luck in regards to this and anything else you might be going through. Please like, subscribe, and share. Again, leave comments. And, and I, I hope it all works out for the best. And know that, you know, it is worth waiting for than for settling for less than. That's that's for sure. Better better to be alone than for somebody that makes than with someone who makes you feel alone. You know what I mean? Until next time, my dears. Take care. Bye bye.